Hi, everyone. This is Raquel Palmisi, and welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays. I'm really glad to be here with you. How's everybody feeling? How are you? I am uh, personally on kind of a roller coaster uh, of emotions and thoughts and uh, feeling the extreme changes that are happening globally right now, uh, as I'm sure you all are and trying to figure out what we're doing, where we stand, how we're meant to change, how we're, what we're trying to call in, and if we're really ready to usher in a new era, because a new era it is, my friends, and it's here. And I think a lot of people probably know that. Oh, hi, Anne. Hi, Marina. Nice to have you with me. This feels very important, and as this um, stream of consciousness started coming in today, hi Johanna, <laughs> it's good to see everybody here. As this stream of consciousness started coming in to me today, I felt it felt almost like there was a rock landing within me, uh, because there's something important to convey. There's there's a radical change happening right now, and it's easy to not want to look at it as extreme or radical, but it actually is. So I'm going to just open and I'm going to just let it come through with the words it wants to use. And the first thing that is flowing through me is to try to communicate to you that we are coming out of a long a long history, a long, I can't even say era, it's been eons of time, thousands of years of, of being disengaged from our own beingness, that unless we chose to become some kind of spiritual leaders or teachers or some, some sort of energy workers or priests or healers, Unless we actually aspire to becoming something like that, the average person actually has been uninvolved pretty much in the dynamics of their own healing journey. I'm smiling because I'm just loving seeing everybody come on and I say hello to all of you. It's kind of lightening the load of all this a little bit. We have been following the leaders. We have been looking for our answers outside of ourselves for so many years that there's something within us that's been deadened. And, you know, we've become very proactive in taking care of our bodies. We've learned the value of exercise. We've learned the value of taking in good food and nutrients and balancing our physical bodies and aligning them in many ways. But what we haven't really gotten yet is the engagement, the leadership of self that's required for up-leveling our beingness. We look to others to guide us through that. And a lot of times what we're looking for are people to heal us. I have never called myself a healer. I believe that a true healer doesn't fix anybody. Please listen to this. A true healer does not fix anyone. A true healer has the special gift of awakening the inner healing mechanisms that are already within us. And for each one of us, those mechanisms are different. We all hail from way different places in the universe, in the galaxies, I don't know. We are not the same. We are not the same at all on spiritual levels. And we all have so many gifts unwrapped up still within us. Why we keep looking outside of ourselves for answers is something that we all need to question. And if you've worked with me, you know that I point this out a lot but it really bears repeating and it bears 
opening this new frontier for all of us. For we are edge dwellers here. We are standing on the edge of a new consciousness. And part of that new consciousness has to do with recognizing ourselves and being willing to take responsibility for our healing journeys, our journeys of discovery, as my beloved teacher, Charles McCall used to call them, our beautiful journeys of discovery of the inner landscapes of our beingness. So right now I would ask you as you're listening to this to feel yourself circulating energy with me. I'm pouring it out to you. Circulate it back to me. Activate your energy field with me. Do it through your breath. Breathe in and open. Feel it. Breathe out. Release and circulate the energy. You will begin feeling everyone else that is on this call and everyone else that will be looking at this in the future. Expanding your energy field to start embracing all that you touch, everyone that you know, the home you live in, your energy is different than anyone else's. Feel it circulating from me to you and then out to all the rest of us. And maybe anybody else that is in this social media right now. Feel your energy touching your neighbors, your friends, your community. As you breathe, expand your energy field out and allow it to touch into places that you've never been, your county, your state, your country. You are a viable spiritual energy yourself. You can touch more than you know. You can reach out. You can make that energy healing or you can make it hateful. You can make it critical or you can make it cooperative. You can allow or you can wall yourself off. You can sit in your ideas and your concepts and what you think you know, or you can open to a greater reality of what you don't know. And maybe you don't know a whole lot of anything. I don't know. I have a gift for allowing spirit to flow through me. This I know. It is not something I do. It is after a lot of years of hard, hard work, surrender, and letting go of my own ego needs that I have been able to become a vessel in a large part, I'm still a very human. I make a lot of mistakes, do jerky things. It doesn't really matter because basically I walk through life in a very open, cooperative, and very interested way. I'm less about being interesting than I am about being interested in you in my world, in God, and what these amazing forces and realms of spirit are all about. The people I look to to guide me are people that understand that I don't need fixing. It's like I would never try to fix you or entertain any idea that I would even know how or want to. Why would I want to take your journey away from you and prolong your agony? When what I'm really meant to do with you is to awaken in you what you already know. 
to wake in the inner healer of yourself. So yeah, I may push and poke in that awakening, physically poking into those muscles and that body and try to help release whatever is blocked up and trapped in there energetically so you can breathe, so you can release it. I am not doing it for you. I am simply a tool. And the energy that I hold that can assist me is beautiful and it's powerful. Sometimes I feel that I hold the planet in my hands. That is not something I do. It is something that I have become. So a lot of us these days are running around in a mode of seeking. We're seeking leadership. We're seeking the healers. We're seeking the, the practitioners. We're seeking the voices out there that know how to sell us on ourselves. It's all right. It's all good. It's part of the journey. There are really gifted and amazing facilitators out there. But we are quickly going beyond the point of sitting at the feet, helpless, of someone who assumes that we are nothing. We are moving past that. And the true leaders and spiritual facilitators on the planet are quickly coming into this recognition. So the urgent request from spirit is be careful. What are you looking for out there? Are you looking to get fixed? Are you looking for an energy fix? Are you just looking to feel better? Do you feel yourself so broken? Lost? Confused? That you keep seeking those who can, who can enlighten you? Who can try to help you change your thinking, rewire your brain? There's a lot of modalities going on out there. It's not up to me to judge any of it, but I will tell you that everything you need is within you and so much more. We haven't even tapped into a fraction of what we're capable of. We are all healers. We're not meant to run around fixing each other. But we are all healers of self. If we're willing to take responsibility for our own journeys. Feel it in yourself as I'm speaking to you. Feel something awakening in you. Some recognition that you know this, that you have been here before, if you're interested in what I'm saying, if you're here listening to me, it's because you already know this and you just need to wake up. You just need to find it within yourself to take responsibility for your healing journey, not to see yourself as a big problem but to see yourself as a giant spirit being that is here to have this experience, to have these challenges, not to try to fix yourself, not to think that this joy and happiness that we keep setting as an ideal is the goal and aim of humanity, of the human experience. It is not. And I see from the hearts and sunshines that are floating up on my screen that you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
So let's take some breaths together. Let's join hands in a circle of fellowship and acknowledgement. Let's recognize that we are a council, that we are answerable to the gift of this human life. There is a gift. You get to a point where you really see that, where you really know that this opportunity of this is awesome. As hard as it is, as confounding as it is, as low as the dips can go and all of it, as high as the elations that we get that we can become so addicted to and chase after for a lifetime. No. healers of self. Let us come into this new era recognizing the beingness of us, the empowerment of our hearts, the divinity that is within us. We do not need to look outside of ourselves. We do not need to follow the leaders and the self-proclaimed psychics and all of it. Again, I'll tell you, there are some beautiful, talented people there and you here just might be among them. But do not throw your life down before anyone's feet to fix. It's not about that. This experience of life is too precious is too awesome. A long time ago, someone gave me a picture of millions of souls floating around this little blue planet Earth, waiting for a chance to get in here, waiting beyond time can measure for a chance to have a human experience. And what happens once we're here and we're in human form? We think it's a punishment. We think we did something wrong to get here and we have to make atonement. Well, maybe that's true. Maybe some of us, maybe a lot of us are here for big old attitude adjustments to come out of arrogance and ego, to have a chance to look at the reality of ourselves. But my friends, my beautiful beings, this life is a gift and we have not even unwrapped a little percentage of it yet. So in this moment that you're with me, feel yourself awakening to your being. Feel yourself here with me. Feel yourself circulating energy with me. Feel your heart opening in recognition of yes. Someone gave me a beautiful quote today and I wish I could remember the author. And it was something like the most frightening prayer in the world is a yes. Feel it in yourself. This yes to life. What an adventure. How scary is it to say yes to it? To not try to be fixed or look at yourself as wrong or unworthy or anything like that. But to be the most fortunate of souls that actually got here to have this life. Imagine how long you might have been waiting for this opportunity out of time and space. And here you are. So please join me. Let's have a new adventure of autonomy and sovereignty, of recognition of the unique and viable being that we are, all of us. And as we seek each other's help and facilitation, that we 
receive it and engage with it. It is the engagement in the process that leads to the freedom from the patterning. No one can do it for you. And don't believe anyone who says they can ever again. Because when you're working with a healer, it is you, the way you're able to receive it, the way you're able to circulate your own energy and intertwine with the energy of that brilliant being that is working with you, that calls in the healing. It cannot happen as a one-way street. It doesn't work, maybe for a minute. Maybe you'll feel a little better when you leave and then bingo, you're gonna be right back in it. It's a process. The level of your engagement in the process is the level that you will come up into a freedom of being that you have never experienced before. And you will not be thinking about fixing other people or your children or anybody, but rather be an awakener and don't know what that's supposed to look like. Because a lot of us are meant to go through a hard time here we're meant to learn some serious lessons here to find a freedom from something that's been locking up our soul forever. The goal is not to just feel good, but rather to feel fulfilled that we are fulfilling our mission as human beings here and that we are helping others to fulfill theirs. That means we can't judge them for going too fast or too slow or not taking advantage of this, that, and the other thing, but rather to hold space, to speak truth and not think for a minute that we know where they should be or what they should be doing. So this is a radical turn, an evolutionary step that has been processing for a while now. And it is coming forth as we've been in this lockdown, especially a lot of us feeling overwhelmed with, uh, to look inside ourselves, go within, find the being, love the being as much as you can and know that you have every gift that it ever takes to become all that you want to be and shed the tonnage of weight that we can carry here in human form. As you look for the facilitators to help you, be careful. Go for those that can really listen. I'm sending you love from a very distant star, divine heart from the source, from God. Know yourself children know yourselves and be true to that knowing always thank you for checking out wisdom wednesday aloha i see somebody from hawaii shalom be well i'll see you next wednesday